With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. In Red Cliff, I saw the future Corypheus built. Can't let that happen. It was always so, was it not? The madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it, all three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion.
Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? We're holding, barely. The Red Templars are fighting harder than ever with their master nearby. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. So all you have to do is fend off Corypheus' worst zealots until I've returned. We shall not flinch, your worship, not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. We are aware... Inquisitor, I hear this Eluvian lies in a temple nearby. That's where the fighting will be worst. Andraste, keep you safe. Move everyone immediately if the fighting comes closer. You may count on it. Good luck. We are gladdened to see you, Herald. This day will be recalled for ages. We are privileged to witness the fulfillment of the Inquisition's purpose. I can't speak long. I must join my soldiers on the field. It would be selfish to keep you. Men and women of faith serve you. Their favor is no less than our own. Their service no less dear. With Orle at your side, we will see you victorious against Corypheus. May you walk in the light. Listen to how close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus' work for him. One last push and we can lick our wounds. I wonder if Corypheus will show. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs.
renews itself. So must the faithful renew their love of the Maker. Your penance shall be a joy, serving him with a heart of love unbound. Your struggle shall be a gift, for it redeems you in his sight. Maker, let me be a worthy servant. And I thanks your worship. I was a pilgrim at Haven. I saw the wreckage. If the Maker bids me serve you, 